Anybody have any questions for me? Uh, yep. What are your thoughts? There were probably a few more mistakes today than some of the other games, but you still came away with a with a fourteen point win. You know, we didn't play clean the whole ball game. I was you know, disappointed there at the very end. You know, we got we got a few guys in there, and we got to just execute. And you, know, you want to try to play as many guys as you possibly can. But I, I thought, uh, you know, we ran the ball and threw the ball well. It hadn't been the case really a whole bunch of season where we've done both of them well. You know, that, that was a huge run to begin the second half with Tajay. Mm -hmm. and a big takeaway by the defense. And we get another touchdown. All of a sudden, we're up 14. It was a great catch by Deuce at the end of the first half. You know, it was a great goal line stand to hold him to a field goal and make it 17-17 instead of being down. So, uh, you know, 21-17. Uh, so, very good job by them. I know you've got bigger goals in front of you, but this is this is actually by date the earliest you've ever got Tulane's ever gotten to six wins because seasons were played later and stuff like that in the past. But just um, just what are your thoughts on on getting to six wins so fast? Well, it's, you know it's great. We're we're excited about you know poll eligibility. But I'd be honest with you, I haven't talked to our guys about it at all. You know we you know, we slipped up a few weeks ago. We just told everybody, hey, man, we need to focus on the task at hand. That's how we're going to win, uh, having, a, you know, excellent preparation. And and uh, if we do that every week, we've got a chance to be successful. And, and uh, we did that. I thought we had a really good week of preparation. And uh, we were within a whisker of three or four really big plays in the first half. Right. Running the ball. And uh, we got those in the second half. Uh, but uh, yeah, good, good, good overall team win today, mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, fighting some adversity and overcoming it. A lot of a lot of big pass plays. I think Pratt had his career high for the second straight week passing. Um, just what do you have? Three twenty nine. Three twenty nine. Good. Yeah. Um, how how big was that? I mean, seven or eight chunk plays. It seemed like in the passing game. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought. Uh, we, we need to be a little bit more consistent with our protection. Mm -hmm. Might have had a few more huge plays, but uh, overall, I thought we had some good uh, schemed up pass plays where we had some wide open guys mm -hmm. at times. And uh, and then when, when that happens, we got to have protection. And I thought our offensive line did a really nice job of protection for the most part. Uh, you know, and then, then when you balance it with a run game, you know, they get, they got to play balanced up on line of scrimmage. You can't pin their ears back. Mm -hmm. We had some good – I'm proud of uh, Shotty Clayton there at the end of the game, man. He really came in and finished the game out there at the very end. And, uh, uh, you know, he's been looking for that opportunity. And you never know when the opportunity is going to present itself. And he presented it to him, and he did a good job of taking advantage of it. Right before halftime, is the rule that any um, grounding penalty is an automatic 10-second runoff in the last two minutes of the half? Is that what 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 was the explanation for Correct. why they're taking that off? Correct. Okay, gotcha. How how big a play? Uh, you, you, you had you had enough time for basically the play that you ran. How how important was that? Execute perfect pass, perfect catch on that touchdown. <laughs> well, it was. Uh, we were taking a little bit of a risk, you know, doing that, but uh, we felt like we had enough time. Mm -hmm. We got the ball off and, you know, really nice throw and catch by Deuce, throw by Mike. Uh, so it was good. It was a good job by those guys. Yeah. Bohannon was really hurting you there for, for, for a while. Uh, how much does it affect any team when, when their, when their quarterback goes out, you've done, you, 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 you guys did, you guys handled it pretty well against Houston a few weeks ago, but uh how, how did how much did that change the game and what you? No, he was about? playing well. He, he he you know he he really can run it, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, you know, I hope the hope the young man's okay. Yeah. What and did you see? The the defense just a couple of plays they gave up this year, not not including the last one, but a couple of them earlier that they hadn't hadn't given up. Just is, is that going to happen against is against good teams or what? What did you see there? Oh, you know, it's going to happen occasionally when you when you play, you know, seventy some snaps. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be really, really, really disciplined, and with all eleven guys, and there's an infinite amount of situations and scenarios and motions and shifts, and trades and 
you know, all those different things. And, and uh, we had a couple where, you know, we, we didn't, we didn't get lined up properly or have our eyes on the right guy, but, uh, but we made some big plays also on the defensive side of the ball. That, that, that play, you know, after uh, Tajay's run was huge. Right. Big kickoff cover tackled by uh, Dorian Williams. I think it, it was on 13 yard line. Then we get to, we had the fumble recovery and we took it down to about the three or four and we get a touchdown. And so that was big. That was a game changing type play. So yeah. uh, they, they got some weapons, you know, and, and uh, their, their quarterback's a good player, that Bill Hannon. He's really, really nice player. I think it was Tylo Phillips that caused that that fumble again. Your 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 depth on the defensive line. It's like it's it, there's so many different guys that seem like they can make that that type of play. Yeah, yeah we were rolling some guys. It was pretty warm down here at the beginning of the game. We played quite a few guys on the defensive line, and and uh, you know, and, and and Tylo's been you know getting better and better every single week since he got her. He didn't have the benefit of spring ball like like a lot of transfers that you have, and he just seems to get a little bit better every week. Uh, um, you know, but yeah, I thought Angelo Anderson had a big sack at mm -hmm. one, one time. Uh, you know, we had some good pressure. You know, we just uh, there, there's a few things we're gonna need to clean up, and we'll get that done. But you know, it's a it was a big time team win. I was, I was glad we were able to you know put together uh, a lot of good plays in all three phases uh, throughout the ball game. You may or may not be ranked in the top 25 um, come tomorrow. Just you, you feel like you've got the leaders and the right team to, to just not let that affect you one way or the other. I, I think so. You know, I, I don't talk about all that stuff with these guys. I really don't. I, I haven't said one word to him, about it. when the game of being bowl eligible, I never said anything about it. It, it just, uh, I've never said anything to, about being ranked in the top 25. You know, it, it, we keep doing a good job being one and all every week, all those things mm -hmm. take care of themselves. Thanks. Appreciate it. Everybody else good? Thank you.